I'm actually asking this question for my friend Pauline, which is why I'm currently videotaping. She's out in Scotland, but she's an insanely big fan and loves you immensely. But, and so I asked her, I might have a chance to ask David anything you want, what is it? And her reply was, that episode of X-Files, where it was sort of like Groundhog's Day, where you kept repeating it, did you have to go through a waterbed every single time it popped? <laughs> did they make you go through that? This is from Scotland? This question? <laughs> She's currently in Scotland for a wedding. Not her. Oh. Not her wedding, oh, but... That, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. When you first started playing Mulder, did you imagine that the X-Files and your character were going to endure for 20 years? I mean, with or yes. without a promotion. Yes, I did. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and this one actually, Dirk, I want to lob this one to you. What do you think accounts for that? The longevity of X-Files. Yes, and, and Mulder. Well, I will say that uh, when I auditioned for the role in, uh, I guess it was 93 or 92, um, our casting director was a guy named uh, Randy Stone, who, is, uh, who has since died. But uh, Randy uh, said to me, and I don't know how he knew this, but he said, uh, I want you to do this, and it'll be the only job you'll ever need. So I know when X-Files very first came out, um, Jillian was more of the believer and you were more of the skeptic. Is that still true, or have you kind of started to believe in some things? Yeah, we just switched it now. <laughs> now uh, she's the believer, I'm the skeptic. We're just gonna do it that way. No, no. I mean, those are the characters. They're set. I mean, it's, 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 there's a certain suspension of disbelief that has to happen, especially for, for uh, Scully's character, that she could be, see as much as she's seen and still not believe. So th there, there, there's some, it's tough sometimes in terms of stretching the, the credibility of a character from week to week, um, even just on a physical level, you know, because we get our asses kicked and then we'd show up next week looking fine, you know, so. <laughs> There's a certain amount of lack of linear time in our show. We don't know exactly when the episodes are happening. We just know they're happening in some space. Um, so, but yes, those characters are set in stone. That's, that's the way they go. I mean like you as a person. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your favorite episode? A favorite episode of The X-Files? The X-Files, yeah. Um, I like, uh, you know, there's a few for different reasons, I think. Uh, I, I love uh, um, uh, postmodern Prometheus uh, Chris's, and I love, uh, I love uh, uh, small potatoes, I think I like, and I love, um, um, it sounds like I'm doing well so far, so I'm going <laughs> to quit there. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you guys so much. So Mulder and Scully's son, uh, that's an X-File in itself. So are we me. going to see or hear actually what happens? Do Mulder and Scully find him? I, I assume you're asking for, uh, for the next, for the episodes we're about to film in August. I, I, I honestly don't know. I haven't seen word one. So I'm looking forward to getting a script very soon, very, very soon. Awesome. I hope. <laughs> Thank you.